Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I'm sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. As always, I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. The judgment is final. Okay, so it looks like it's a King of Cups reverse is going through some type of karma. Whatever couple, there's a man out here, a King of Cups. This brother has been determined to block someone's wish fulfillment, someone's happiness, someone's joy, someone's destiny. This man is so bothered by either a feminine energy or a younger energy. He don't even know what to do about, uh, do with himself. Someone has made it their life mission to take you out, to destroy you, block people from connecting with you. This man is bothered, pressed. This is someone that's emotionally imbalanced, mentally imbalanced. This is someone that misuses emotions, manipulates people's emotions just so he can get them to partner up with him. This is someone that's unsure of himself, stuck in his mind at all the time. This is someone that misrepresents himself, pretends to be in the upright. This is someone that will befriend you just so they can get something out of you. Once they get something out of you, maybe they don't want nothing to do with you. This is someone that's like a social climber, okay? Someone has been out here paying left and right other parties to do you something. Uh, there may be a couple out here that don't want to partner up with this person anymore. They're kind of done with his shenanigans or maybe they went and found out the truth. They could have been working with him in the past, but now they went and found out the truth and they're like, we're, we're done. This collaboration is over. Uh, they may be doing some, taking some type of action to just balance the situation. Uh, I think they're fed up with this man as well. This is a couple that's very happy to be together. They're living their life. It's a loca, may have a business together, whatever. These two are very happy and they're done with this man shenanigans. Uh, this could be a community of people as well, an uh, institution. Someone is about to be losing a job, a position, some type of association he has with an institution. It's all about to be taken away. This man is paying to have something that you are working on put to rest or to have you put to rest. Uh, because this is someone that is just emotionally, I don't know what, listen, I don't even know what the word is to use this, to, to describe this person. But mentally imbalanced is an understatement, okay? This is someone that is in competition with women. And I don't know if this is someone that is unsure of his uh, status or, okay, I said status, and this came out, so it's true. This is someone that's unsure of his sexuality. He don't know if he want to be a man or a woman or whatever else. And baby, listen, we're not here to judge you, but you need to go figure that out on your own time, not on our time. We got things to do. Uh, this is someone that's been collaborating, possibly with a king of wands, a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. To cause you some type of heartbreak or uh, burden to betray you, put you put your investments to an end, right? So if you have a business that's supposed to be booming, someone has been paying people behind the scenes to put it to rest. If you were supposed to receive some type of promotion at work, he's paying people to make sure that whatever it is, is put to rest. You don't receive it. Like someone is intimidated by you as a feminine energy, maybe because you are the true energy someone has to pretend to be just someone has to be has to pretend to be genuine someone has to pretend to be compassionate someone has to pretend to be uh, a light worker a healer like someone has to pretend to be everything that he is but you don't have to pretend to be that and it bothers him this man from what i'm hearing has destroyed many other careers before has destroyed many other lives and your life is the one now that he's very determined to destroy someone has been doing something for a long time i see a lot of tent a couple of tents out here excuse me which means someone has been committed for a long time to keep you in some type of karmic cycle so that you don't re receive wish fulfillment in life. Uh, someone's ultimate fulfillment will be to see you down and out, destroy. If he can even see you on a life, that will be a blessed day for him as far as he's concerned. But someone is very bothered by your very existence, but wants to be every bit of you, okay? If someone could put your skin on, he would, he would do it, okay? Because you know those earth angels, 
<laughs> skin baby girl baby boy our vibe is the all that and he wants it okay but someone has a problem with you with the fact that you're actually you know someone that's you you are who you put yourself out to be someone has been doing something to kind of hide who you are okay so even if you're like on a platform he's been doing something paying behind the scenes to make sure that you're not seen that you are blocked Okay, um, but the truth is coming out. Your ancestors said they don't got time no more. They've been giving this person a long enough grace period to get his life together. Um, and he don't want to get his life together. He's going to have to move on. Uh, but he's about to go through some type of ending that I don't even think he's expecting. Like this is someone that's been self-sabotaging his whole life. Someone is about to reap what he sold. Okay. There's something significant about that. You reap what you sow in life. And there's something about him reaping now. What he's been sowing for other people. Yeah, this is man. This is someone that likes morals. Someone that's unethical. Someone that's kind of reckless with the body. The wand. The pet. That, this is a man. Someone wants to make sure you're not chosen. Like, he does not want you to be the, the, the option, the choice for nothing. Not for work, not for love, collaborations, nothing. Not for blessings from the Most High. If he could tell the Most High what to do, he would tell them, don't give that mother sucker right there anything. I want them to live in poverty and die in poverty. This is someone very dark, angry, bitter, just very bitter. Or everything they have, from what I'm hearing, they got by manipulation. Nothing came to them justly. It's all through manipulation. Okay? And this is someone very greedy, financially motivated. Yeah, I'm telling you, everything they got, this is how they got it. Seven of swords in people. But when you see them, they come across as someone that may be religious, uh, someone that's very... Uh, uh, easy to work with, someone eat, someone to collaborate with, uh, someone that is very dedicated to their work, their craft. This is someone that will show up to work and do nothing all day, but when the supervisor shows up or the boss shows up, oh, this is the person that will be like, oh my gosh, you know, I've been doing this report all day. Meanwhile, they haven't touched their report in about a week. This is someone that pretends to be very productive at work. They don't do nothing. When I said nothing, nothing. Someone don't do nothing at work. Someone chooses to show up when they want to. God forbid this is a freaking manager who or a supervisor. This is one of the supervisors or managers that shows up at 11 a.m. when the place opens at 6.30 a.m. Okay? And he'll be leaving in a couple of hours after he got there at 11 a.m. If there's a meeting scheduled or corporate or someone is coming in the building to do some type of uh, observation, he ain't even ready or she's not even ready yet. The corporate is going to come to the building and you're going to catch this mother sucker running through the door trying to look all, all prepared like he's been there all day. Okay, meanwhile, he ain't been in the building all day or she ain't been in the building all day. Whoever this is, a piece of work, a piece of work. But they're being exposed. Got legal issues coming in. Someone's about to go to court or jail or something. Because something they've been doing has turned legal. Someone may call the police on them. There's some type of evidence of what this person has been doing. I'm telling you, they've been collaborating to end your investments. Put an end to you. But look at him going, oh, my lord. Ha! <laughs> One source do it, folks. One source do it. He's been collaborating with people to end your investments. And block the fruits of your labor. But here we go. He's in he had it straight. Baby. Ooh. Source will do it. Failure. Endings. Oh, destruction. Baby, you about to be out here living in poverty. It's the end of this karmic chapter. But the way you're ending it. Ooh. You say you wanted to go out with a bang. So did the universe. They said, oh, yeah, it's okay. We'll give you that. We'll give you that. You're going out with a bang. You're going out with a bang. Bang. You know the death it I hope you didn't come up against like a Scorpio baby. I hope you didn't come up against a Scorpio Pisces or Cancer because those mother suckers when they come in your life, don't try them. If you meet a Scorpio, a high vibration of Scorpio, that means that there is some type of change you are about to go through, whether you want to or not, whether you like it or not, you're going through that change. 
Okay, so if you have been going up against a fellow Scorpio because you're a king of cups, oh, you effed up royally. You know that, right? You know that. Yeah, you effed up royally. You got legal issues coming in, court issues coming in. It ain't going in your favor. You about to be out here way down and burdened because they know everything you've been doing out here and they're taking actions deciding how to balance this situation out so everybody can move on you you fear me you fear me okay there may be a king of a swords behind the scenes that may ha be having some type of epiphany now i ain't gonna say what it is that he's having but baby you fear me you fear me you about to go through it go through it mm. you're losing alliances by the second these people are fed up with you they are fed up the couple you've been trying to get to turn up against someone, they want you to know they don't want to work with you. They're not interested. I'm telling you, these people are happy and peaceful, minding their business, and you left your community to come to their community, to their life, to bring your low vibrational, insecure little boy stuff. Go heal. Some, go sit down somewhere and heal. The universe is about to put you in some type of time out. When you come out of that time out, if you come out of that time out, boy, you're going to have yourself a brand stinking new mindset and personality. Congratulations in advance. Okay? Because <laughs> you know the suckers there, they don't play it. They're, they are the masters of discipline. Oh, you don't want to? Okay. You got time to play, right? Okay, we got time to play too. Lose everything. Man, they're, they're about to take... When I say everything, you're about to lose everything. You you may want to pray that you don't end up homeless on the streets. Because everything you've been trying to manifest for someone else is what's being handed to you. Cold. You know my yachts. You know Sister Maya don't play. Everything you've been manifesting for somebody else is about to be... Excuse me. It's about to be handed for you. I got to start bringing water to drink because my lips be getting dry my mouth be getting dry when i do these reads but baby the karma you're about to go through oh the karma the karma the karma you're about to go through i wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy you're about to be having a hard knock day or hard knock week a hard knock month a hard knock year a hard knock cycle for about 10 years seven to ten years the last three years of that cycle is going to be you being tested on how you're going to be handling situations moving forward. But the first, let's say what, oh, five, six years, four to, four to six years of, the, uh, of that cycle is going to be nothing but burdens for you. You're going to be looking for someone to apologize, to help you heal. Listen. It, oh lord <laughs> this is the clarity you need if you didn't know you've been living in denial listen you all uh, this man i used to uh work with i had a vision of him coming to my uh like i you i be seeing myself in the future like i'm so grateful that source you know that they asked for me like that but i i don't i've seen myself where i'm going how what i'm gonna look like everything like I, I already know all that but I, I i had a vision uh not too long ago maybe a week or so ago and there's a man that used to and i think it's uh applicable to the situation because i think this is something that may happen to someone in the future but there's a man that used to bully me uh some time back and i had a vision of this man coming to like my property in the future like I have this, I have this beautiful property in the future. Like I have orchids, like different fruit trees, like a beautiful garden and things like that. And I had a vision of this man coming to my property to ask me to heal him. Now, when I saw him, he looked like really embarrassed. He was holding his head down. And I mean, by that time in my life, I'm, sh I, I'm sure like I was even I'm I'm even farther along my healing journey. I'm not all the way there yet, but I'm getting there. And I just I just remember I saw myself in the vision and saw him, and I looked so happy to see him, but he looked so embarrassed to talk to me. And I was I think I was telling him like, "Hey, hold your head up or something. How are you doing? Long time no see." But it's that it's because he was still playing all that stuff in his mind, um, and it just it it just looks so like 
depressing on his part, but I, I just remember I was just so happy that he even came to me to help him. You know, you feel me? So, um, I think something like that is going to happen to you all that there is going to be someone that may be, that may end up calling you, coming towards you to kind of ask you for forgiveness or something because there's some type of karmic chapter they're about to go through that's going to be so horrendous. Um, maybe even like their wife may come looking for you to beg you to maybe relieve them of their karma. But it's not that you're even the one that's putting this karma on them. It's that the universe is the one that has made this judgment on this person because someone has been doing something for a long time, not just to you, but to other people. And he has gotten accustomed to getting away with it. Um, and I think he feels invincible, one, because of the color of his skin, two, because of his connections. Someone may have some type of connections in the court system that he uses illegally. Uh, someone has been like, this is like an entitled person, like a little boy within a grown body, but he feels very entitled, right? So there's something like that going on. But I guarantee you all, whoever this is in your in your story, your situation, they're going to be reaching out to you at some point to ask for forgiveness, um, to ask for help. And if they do it too early, you're going to know because there may be something where like a community tells him he has to ask you for forgiveness, but he's not really going to be asking you for forgiveness. Uh, for genuine reasons it's just so the community can stop asking him for forgiveness but there will come a second time in his life later on it won't be maybe anytime soon or she that they are really going to be reaching out to you to talk to you okay so something like that is going to play out i think i had that vision for a reason it's applicable to the situation because it is going to happen for some of you out there where someone that's been trying to take you out destroy your life and things like that um yeah, they're going to be reaching out to you to apologize. But when they first reach out, it's going to be something that's not really genuine. It's going to be like a lie, putting on a show for the people, okay? Someone may have even taken something from you that was supposed to be given to you, and you may not have been aware of it. Um, and all of that is going to be coming out. Like, I don't know why this man is this malicious. You ever notice the people that think they're better than other people are always the ones that go above and beyond to try to destroy or prove something? Like, if you already think or know that you're better than somebody else, why do you need to destroy that person, right? Because they're beneath you, so they don't really have anything to you, right? They don't have anything that over you. They don't have any advantage over you. So why come after them? But when people like these, they know the truth that they don't really have anything over you. Nobody cares the color. Nobody cares the amount of money you have. This could even be someone that's pretending to be abundant. This could be someone that's very broke with the fact that he's showing up as the king of cups in the reverse. And then the death is out here as well. Nothing this man touches flourishes. So this is someone that's broke or pretends to be wealthy, or this could be someone that comes from a wealthy family but has misused the money, partying a lot and things like that, and his finances may not be doing as well. So he could be going through some type of bankruptcy or this is what's about to happen. But I've always picked up, I've noticed that people that feel like they're better than other people, they always are the ones that have something to prove. And they feel like by, the only way to prove that is by trying to destroy someone else, preventing you from networking having any type of opportunities, having love and things like that. It's that if you believe in your mind that I'm better than you, why do you need to come down here to, to fool with me? Leave me be, right? I don't know. That's how I've always thought about it. Yeah, whatever your friendship, baby, this friendship with these people is over. Oh. <laughs> he said he's planning to put your resources, your bounty, everything, anything you're supposed to get out of a court case or the court system, anything that's supposed to be balanced for you, whether in just life or together, he's deciding to put an end to it in the university. That's a goddamn no. It ain't happening. You're going to have to move on with your life. Go figure out this karma we're about to serve to you cold. They said they're giving it to you cold. Okay, very cool. Yeah, he's hardworking because you're receiving a solid commitment. Maybe trying to do something to stop it, to block it, to end it cause some type of hindrance to it. Like this person is just miserable in life. He's miserable because a king of swords may want to come towards you to communicate something, bring something to your attention, give you some type of uh, letter, information, 
Um, when it comes to a secret, when it comes to an institution, maybe you are part owner of an institution. Maybe you have some type of finance within an institution. Uh, maybe something was left to you that you're not aware of, that people have been working really hard to block and stop you from receiving. People who have been receiving some type of financial payout behind the scenes, they call blessings because they were able to uh, steal something from you, block you from receiving something, and now something is backfiring. Whatever that is, it's backfiring. He, they, she, queen of wands reverse, queen of cups reverse, queen of swords reverse, everybody reverse. They don't know what to do with themselves, okay? Because they feel, I'm telling you, they don't know what to do with themselves. They felt like they had everything set up to go in their favor. I don't know what the heck. This, maybe this is, like a, this is a full time job to be trying to destroy, block, and just end people. It ain't going in their favor. Look at this. Damn, been out here paying a whole unhinged institution to tell lies. To tell lies. This couple was collaborating with these people before to lie. I don't know if this is like two different couples. There could be two different couples in here. Or this couple was uh, working with these people before to lie. To cause illusions and things like that. Um, and maybe they don't want to work with this person anymore. They don't want to work with them anymore. You say, oh my gosh. What were we, what were we thinking? What were we thinking? Yeah, they're not happy because you're getting some type of offer in love, in life. These people are so burdened by the truth coming out. What is wrong with these people? Golly. Yeah, they're, they're, everybody's upset. This man may even want you to feel like people in a community don't want to work with you. It may not even be true. Maybe there are people in a community that does want to work with you. They do see you as someone's genuine, but they want to keep causing illusion so you can feel like people don't, people still don't F with you. And the only reason people didn't F with you is because this man was causing manipulations and things like that. Lying, saying that you were not genuinely a queen of cups. You were not nice. You were not compassionate. You were pretending. Maybe he had been with an organization longer than you had been there. And he came and he told them some lies about you and they believed it. And now they're finding out that... Hey, so you mean this person really is in the upright? You've been lying this whole time? And this is your ancestors illuminating the truth, okay? They are illuminating the truth to you. You could be someone who's very beautiful, very fiery, but they're illuminating the truth. These people have been lying to someone, like a wealthy man, a wealthy woman or something, so that they don't give to you. Give you some type of offer. Man. Yeah. Damn. Who? Yeah. Someone. Someone may have been lying that you were trapped in some type of situation. Someone may have taken some type of action to cause you challenges and things like that. Some. There's a group here like they like wisdom on some type of situation. They may have had some type of short victory when it came to causing you some type of chaos, trapping you, binding you, lying on you, like. There's something here these people don't see clearly, and maybe the truth is going to come out and, expo and expose that. Um, but whatever they have been after, it's not even worth you all's time. It's not worth it. Like, you made the wrong decision when it comes to partnering up with this nutcase here that is in something simply because of his own benefit. Someone is in something solely for himself. He don't give two Fs about the rest of you. This is someone that knows how to manipulate and use people to make sure things go in their way. I, I, this energy, like, when he showed up, like, his heart, the, the, someone's heart space is so blocked. Like, cold, dark, nothing. Yeah, but we ain't nothing good going on for you. It's the end. Stagnation. This is someone that's very reckless in a lot of ways. Dealing with confidence issues. I said that. Someone is dealing with confidence issues. Someone is very insecure. It has to be. Like, he has to be because insecure people are the ones that move this way. Never in history are you going to ever hear that a confident person, someone assertive, invested this amount of time, energy, 
resources to block somebody else. They don't care what you got going on. As a matter of fact, they'll be at the sideline cheering for you, clapping for you to make sure that you know that they're happy that you are achieving your goals and things like that because they're not in competition with anyone else but themselves. This is someone insecure. Someone was trying to steal either a Ten of Pentacles. Someone may have stolen a Ten of Pentacles. Someone may have stolen a position that he has been trying to hold on to. And it's the end of the road for him. Someone is about to be terminated from a, a company. Terminated. And he's living in fear. Oh my gosh, he's living in fear. The whole family... Friend group, six friends, I'm being corrected to say everybody is living in fear. The other people that are not part of this stuff, when they find the truth out, oh, baby. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> they may have been trying to cause some type of stagnation for a king of pentacles. Maybe they're trying to block a king of pentacles. There's something where it's like they're lying to a king of pentacles. Trying to keep him trapped in his mind so that he does not take any type of action to come towards you. This could be someone that's in uh, the court case or this in a in the in a court. Excuse me. This could be someone that's going through some type of court case, maybe like a separation or something, or someone that works in the court system. Um, but they've been manipulating him, lying to him, and things like that, so that he does not take any action to come towards you. But he knows the truth. If he's showing up as the king of pentacles, this is someone that has a lot of common sense, very intuitive. He'll do what it is he wants to do when the time comes. We're not even going to elaborate on that. But he'll do what it is he needs to do. Hmm. Yeah. Dang. It's a lot of energies in here. A lot of characters. We got a king of pentacles, king of cups. King of uh, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, everybody. We even have a higher fan that's in the reverse. That's a whole institution that's just financially motivated, does nothing but cause illusions, tell lies, cause difficulties for other people, and they're about to be exposed. This is a, this is a low vibrational institution or just a higher fan that's low vibrational. Reckless, two-faced, serving two masters or more, someone that serves many masters, if the amount is correct, if you show him the part, the right price, he's for the job. That kind of higher fence. This this is, this could be an institution where people sleep with each other, each other partners. I don't man. I can't. I cannot. Let me hurry up and get up out of this energy. I gotta get out of this energy, please. Yeah, everybody is under injust under judgment. The institution, the higher fan, whoever that higher fan is, whether it's a person or an institution, they're all having some type of epiphany. They may want to talk to you. The police, the justice department, or whoever this kink of source is wants to talk to you. Everybody wants to talk to you. They got questions. I don't know if you got the answers, but they want to ask you questions and things like that. Your ancestors have made a decision in this situation. It's going in your favor. Um, you are going to have wish fulfillment. You are going to reach your destination. You are going to have your Ten of Cups, your abundance, and things like that. But there's some type of situation that needs to be cleared up. Um, th 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 this group, listen, community, whoever's been working with this King of Cups reverse, you are about to go through some type of karma you cannot even imagine. But this is essential so that you all can learn to have a mind of your own. You all are trapped in some type of karmic cycle because you invested so much into this situation and you should not have ever invested anything into solely because someone told you a lie. This is a king of cups that does nothing but invest in causing people stagnations and burdens. And sometimes he even uses the legal system to do that, uh, put an ending to things going in people's favors and things like that, block resources for people. <coughs> This could be someone that may have a family member or a friend in the legal system that he uses to make things go in his favor. Set people up. All kinds of stuff. And this is the person you all chose to partner up with. Now, I don't know if he's used this connection before to make things go in you all's favor. That's why you were okay with assisting him. But all of it is back to, it's about to backfire. It's about to, back, it's about 
to backfire. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, this is someone that does nothing but lie. When he's by himself, all he does is think about how he's going to lie. What's the next lie? What's the next complication? The next manipulation? The next problem he's going to cause? What relationship is he going to destroy? Because this is someone that has destroyed a lot of friendships, a lot of careers, a lot of lives. Okay. This group, you all are trapped in something. I'm telling you. Okay, you're trapped in something. That you are, they, there may have been some type of plot to take a king of pentacles out, or this this is a king of pentacles going through karma, some type of karma cycle for trying to destroy a queen of swords as well in the upright, not the one in this community, because there's one in a community that's just really, really dark and malicious, very cunning for absolutely no reason other than jealousy and insecurity. But this is someone that carries herself as someone that's assertive, not assertive, very insecure, low vibrational as heck, very cunning and calculated. Everything she does is calculated. Everything, just like the rest of them. Just like the rest of them. God dang it. So many lives thrown away solely because of what? Hatred. And there's justice playing out. These people who have been trying to get you all cut up in something legal and you will have never been able to find your way out of it. This is one of the situations where it's that you don't know everybody is in on it. Let's say you get locked up and you're trying to explain to the, P the, the PO what's going on. You don't know the PO is part of the collaboration. You're trying to talk to the Warren. You don't know the Warren is part of the collaboration. You're trying to talk to your cellmate. You don't know they're part of the collaboration. Everybody's part of the collaboration. So you're just stuck where you are. Also, there's a man in the community. Be cautious because there's some type of crooked either PI police officer they're sending to do you something. You may want to be careful. If you're not like these people, if you are in a community and you know you're not like these people and... They're not able to steer you into darkness on the wrong path. They're trying to have you set up. So you may want to get the heck up out of that community. I don't know if you got a contract with them. You might want to say F that contract and get out because they're trying to get you locked up so that you don't move on with your life. So you may want to uh, take care of that. Because I had a, I saw something. Someone sending like a crooked, a crooked official. Like a king of swords, like someone behind the scenes is sending a crooked official to take care of like a, I don't know if it's a king of cups, a king of pentacles, not the ones, not that one, but you're being set up. You're being set up. I don't know why you're in a community you don't belong in, but maybe life, life has its own way of setting things up. Um, yeah. Dang. So whatever someone was paying for it to have done, it's that like your ancestors, they're interceding. They're like, nah, no, 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 not happening. Dang. There's some, this man, there's something where this man lies just to make sure he gets his way. And he don't care who he's lying to, what lie he's telling. This is someone that tells one lie to cover the next lie, a lie to cover the next lie, a lie to cover the next lie. And he don't tell so many lies, he's forgotten the lies that he don't told, and it's about to catch up to him. Someone someone has been doing something for so long, like their tracks, they can't even cover their tracks anymore, and it's about to catch up to them. Like someone feels very invincible. It's like, oh, I have this institution to me, next to me, connected to me. They're going to get me out of this. I'm Baby, that institution ain't helping you. They're about to wash their hands off of you. They say, missing, our name is missing, and we ain't in it. You know institutions don't go, sir, come on now. You, 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 you got to be out your rabbit mind to think that an institution is about to back you up. Because you're about, you're about to cost them money, too. You're about to be in trouble with your boss. Oh, you're about to be in trouble with your boss. And when you're done, when this the whole thing is done, you're going to be bonded because you're going to owe them money. And you ain't leaving until you pay them that money. You don't know what you got yourself into, do you? Huh. Anyways, 
I'll see you folks next time. Thank you for watching as always. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.